Thank you very much. I'm Senator Mary Lou McFedrin, an independent senator from Manitoba, which is Treaty 1 territory and the homeland of the Métis Nation. I'm speaking to you today as the moderator of this uh, press conference, and I'm in Ottawa, so I am on the unceded, unsurrendered territory of the Algonquin and Anishinaabeg peoples on which the Parliament of Canada is situated. I have a brief introduction to make, and that is to point out that Canada has now had an entrenched, constitutionalized charter of rights and freedoms, and four decades of litigation interpreting that charter. We have seen some triumphs in the 40 years, and we have seen disappointments. But what we know for sure, and critics of the Charter, supporters of the Charter, optimists about the Charter, all agree that this is an essential part of our country, of this constitutional democracy. And for those who lived through the siege of downtown Ottawa around the Parliament buildings not that long ago, it was very clear that the Charter had become a symbol of a certain kind of freedom and certain freedoms for certain people. And so this only underscores for us the importance of a conversation like we are going to have here today, a conversation about some of the practical realities, the living of rights, or the denial of the living of rights that is experienced at the individual level, at the community level, and the struggle and the quest for creating more fairness in our society. And I want to also point out that this is actually not about some small L liberal or any other label notion of what rights are. What the research tells us is that a rights-based democracy is a more productive democracy, is a more stable democracy. And as we stand with Ukrainian people in this time of an illegal invasion that now we seek increasing documentation of war crimes, it heightens for people in Canada how precious our rights are and how precious our democracy is and how interlinked rights and a viable democracy are. 